welcome back to my channel. Well, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. Thank you for being here. Para sa po sa mga hindi pa nagsusubscribe, maaari po sana mag-subscribe kayo. All you have to do is click the subscribe button and you are ready to go. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay how to become a podcast virtual assistant. Isa sa mga magandang bintahe bilang isang virtual assistant ay ang iyong option um, to choose the setup skills kung saan ka magpa-focus. Or if you want to develop more or gusto niyo pa pang matutunan ibang linya ng pagiging isang virtual assistant, then you are free to do that. Pwede, pwede niyo pong gawin yun. Sa mga nagsimula na bilang isang virtual assistant, maaari po ninyong itagdag ang set of skills na ituturo for today. Tulad po na nanarinig nyo, podcast virtual assistant. Napaka-lucrative po ng uh, pagiging isang podcast virtual assistant for today. Actually, as of this day, May 2021, there are around 2 million podcasts ang available po online. At uh, isa sa magandang dahilan kung bakit ang pagiging podcast virtual assistant ay magiging very demanding. Maraming mga businesses ang gumagamit ng platform ng podcast bilang parte ng kanilang marketing strategy. So this video ay hindi po tungkol sa how to launch your own podcast channel or yung inyong podcast episode. Ang video po na ito ay tungkol sa pagiging assistant ng isang podcast channel owner. So, for this video, I will quickly introduce you to Podcast Virtual Assistant. What does a Podcast Virtual Assistant do? Ano po ba yung talaga mga ginagawa ng isang Podcast Virtual Assistant? Ano po ba yung mga skills na dapat meron ka if you want to become a Podcast Virtual Assistant? How much money can you make as Podcast Virtual Assistant? And how to get started? First task na napaka-importante sa pagiging isang virtual podcast virtual assistant ay ang edit ng audio file ng iyong podcast client. I will walk you through the process step by step. Ano-ano ba ang pwedeng task na ihahabilin or ia-align or ia-assign ng inyong mga kliyente sa inyo bilang isang podcast virtual assistant? Maaaring kayo ang magko-communicate sa mga guests or future guests ng inyong kliyente para sa kanyang podcast channel. You need to organize the logistics behind the interview. You will be in charge of creating creative assets para sa inyong podcast. So ano ba yung mga creative assets? Maaaring ito yung image ng inyong guest, image ng inyong client, at yung layout ng kanyang podcast at yung social media creatives na gagawin mo para sa social media marketing ng iyong client. As I mentioned before, social media marketing. So, maaaring ikaw din ang maging in charge sa social media marketing ng iyong podcast client. Unang-una, ano po ba ang kailangan ninyong tool para sa inyong editing audio podcast. Ang unang-unang tool po na kailangan nyo for this video tutorial ay ang Audacity. So, please download Audacity sa inyong machine para makapagsimula po kayo sa pagiging isang virtual assistant. Sa post-production, you will be in charge in creating the transcript for the show. Other tasks, maaari maraming uh, podcast platforms ang inyong client or podcast publishing sites na kung saan uh, isa-isahin nyo, iisa-isahin nyo po itong uh, i-publish yung podcast na nagawa ng inyong client. You will be in charge with that. At ang distribution, kayo rin po ang in charge for show note creation. You will be in charge with show note 
creation. Ituturo ko pa rin po yan kung pa paano gumawa ng show notes. And you will be in charge as well with transcription. Napaka-importante po ng transcription. Uh, sa, sa future videos ko po, ituturo ko kung paano gumawa ng transcription from your audio files. Pwede rin po maging parte ng inyong offer as Podcast Virtual Assistant ay yung Content Report to Sing. So, kapag natapos isang uh, podcast show ng iyong client, you can propose your client for repurposing. I will show you how to do that in my future videos. Po, hindi ko gusto na i-overwhelm kayo sa isang video. So, uh, gagawa po tayo ng series of videos para sa podcast virtual assistant alone. So, maiisa-isa, madedetalye po natin yan isa-isa. How much money can you make as podcast, podcast virtual assistant? It really depends kung ano man yung set of skills na meron ka na, kung ano yung uh, forte mo talaga. Uh, if you can do all those things for your clients, definitely you can uh, charge your client uh, ng malaki. Uh, you can charge your client around $20 to $24. Those are for podcast virtual assistant. But for for us na dito sa Pilipinas, medyo mababa po ng kaunti yung mga rates na inaas ng mga pangkaraniwang podcast virtual assistant. But you can roughly charge your client at around $15 or $10 to $15 per hour pwede na po yan para sa isang uh, virtual assistant from our country. How to get started? I, I suggest to watch uh, this uh, video but you can start um, watching yung mga tutorials ng mga podcast virtual assistant. Kailangan po matrain. Makakuha na kayo ng mga resources that you can use for your aim or your objective to become a podcast virtual assistant. Hindi mo po kailangan ng isang college degree para maging isang podcast virtual assistant. Um, so, for this um, ipo, ito ay tungkol sa video ay uh, ang or, plot, uh, or podcast publishing shots or podcast publish Huh? Our podcast publish. Our podcast pub. <laughs>